Top 10 Places to Visit in the Philippines The Philippines, a popular destination perfect for your luxury vacation, is a home to more than 7,000 islands. Sometimes it becomes difficult to choose from a wide range of stunning islands to visit first. The entire country is spread across islands, each of which is a traveler's delight. Not only this, but there's many more stunning places to visit in the Philippines. Hello and welcome to our channel. Today we'll talk about the best places to visit in the Philippines. Be sure to like and subscribe the channel for more videos like this. So let's get going. Number 10. Panglo Island, Bohol Panglo Island in Bohol is one of the best destinations in the Philippines that offers a lot of fun-fueled adventures such as beaches, cave pools, cliff jumping, island hopping and more. Hinagdanan Cave is a famed Panglo tourist attraction for its unique beauty. It's located on the northern coastline. From Alona Beach, it's a short 15-minute drive to reach the cave and the entrance fee is 50 pesos. Inside the cavern, you'll find a large freshwater pool that glows a fluorescent turquoise color and large stalagmite pinnacles hang from the ceiling. The natural pool is around 3 to 4 meters deep and there's plenty of space for swimming and rock jumping. You won't need a flashlight inside the Hanagdanan cave as there is natural light from the holes in the ceiling and also light bulbs in the staircase and at the back of the cave. Around the edges of the natural pool is quite dry and you can set down your belongings here while you go for a dip. Moreover, you can also visit Molave Cliff Diving Resort that features a 5-meter high diving board straight into the clear blue ocean below. It's best to run and jump off the diving board as there is a certain landing point that's clear of rocks. If you're not 100% confident, just ask the lifeguard on duty exactly where to land and watch some other keen jumpers go first. To exit the water, it's a 20 to 30 meter swim in shallow waters to a staircase that leads back to the cliff top. It's possible to walk across the reef to reach the stairs, though it's rugged in some areas and there is the odd sea urchin. It's the safest and most adrenaline-driven cliff dive in Pangalo, so you've got nothing to worry about. Number 9. Boracay The island of Boracay in the Philippines has become famous around the world for its beautiful white beaches. The island is only 7 kilometers in length and at its narrowest just 500 meters wide, but people flock here for the outstanding beauty that the island offers. The main attraction is White Beach, which has a 4-kilometer stretch of white sand that's surrounded by restaurants, hotels, and diving shops. There is always a party happening on the island, with fire shows and live music giving revelers an evening of non-stop entertainment. Over the years, the development of the island has continued, but there are still plenty of places to relax and thoroughly enjoy yourself. Number 8. Tawoy's Temple The Cebu Tawoy's Temple was built by the large number of Chinese people that live in the temple's surrounding area. The temple stands 300 meters above sea level and is a large construction that can be accessed by three different paths. The temple is an active temple for Taoism and you will see many worshippers there when you visit. The temple has around 81 steps leading up to it. Each step represents one of the 81 chapters of Taoism scripture. The entrance to the temple was deliberately designed to look like the Great Wall of China. When inside the temple, you'll be able to walk onto the balconies where you'll enjoy a fantastic view of Cebu. Number 7. Ayala Triangle Gardens in Makati City Ayala Triangle Gardens is a triangular open park located in the middle of Makati Avenue, Ayala Avenue, and Paseo de Roxa Street. Similar to how Central Park in New York provides city dwellers and tourists with an open, green space to work out and enjoy nature, Ayala Triangle Gardens is a favorite go-to park for early risers. It's also the perfect place to visit in Makati for those who want to squeeze in a run or a workout, and working professionals who want to have lunch outside and for families. During the weekend, it's a great place to bring the family and enjoy nature. 
Not only is it a great spot for a date in Manila, but it's also a great venue to bring your family during the Christmas holidays. Number 6. Rizal Park in Manila City Located in the heart of Manila is Rizal Park, a landmark full of historical significance. The park is a homage to the Philippine national hero, Jose Rizal. He was a doctor and novelist who was shot by the firing squad at this site on December 30, 1896, on charges of fostering local rebellion against the Spanish government. Rizal Park features monuments, large stadiums, squares and gardens, observatories, open-air concert halls, sound and light theaters, shops, playgrounds, food kiosks, and many fountains. The park is split into three areas, starting with a 16-acre Agrafina Circle adjacent to Taft Avenue. It's where the Department of Tourism and the National Museum of Anthropology is situated. Number 5. Karan Island Just a short journey from Karan Town is Karan Island, an island that has become famous for its two lakes. To access the first lake, you need to be prepared for a 10-minute climb up steep terrain. That is sure to leave you a little out of breath. You'll have arrived at Lake Kayangan, which has crystal clear water and is nestled in the walls of the mountain. You can go swimming in the lake, and there's also a small wooden platform where you can leave your belongings. The second lake is called Lake Barracuda, where the water can reach temperatures of 38 degrees centigrade, and can be seen by climbing over some jagged rocks that'll take you straight into the water. Number 4. National Parks The Philippines is home to more than 30 national parks including the top-rated ones such as Aurora Memorial National Park, Biakna Batu National Park, Caluate Safari Park, Puerto Princesa Subterranean River National Park, Caramon Peninsula National Park, Libmanon Caves National Park, Mounts Iglet Baco National Park, Fiat Springs National Park, and Minalungao National Park. The parks offer activities like zip lining, boating, river cruising, wildlife spotting, camping, hiking, snorkeling, and kayaking. Located on Caluate Island, just off the coast of Palawan, the Safari Park is a renowned game reserve and wildlife sanctuary in the Philippines. From an array of flora to diverse fauna, you can witness everything there. Number 3. Cebu Heritage Monument with centuries full of invasions, battles, and revolutions, Cebu is a city with stories to tell. Visit Cebu Heritage Monument for a synopsis. Built with dark stone and bricks, the structure is a tangled sculpture of ships, crosses, churches, and key historical figures that are as mysterious as they are thought-provoking. With centuries of history and tales, consider hiring a guide before you go or taking one on offer when you arrive. You'll enjoy the local interaction, be able to ask burning questions, and get some background information you would have otherwise missed out on. This is a great way to start your vacation in Cebu in that it'll give you insightful context to apply for the rest of your visit. Number 2. The Sightseeing Tours You don't have to try extreme activities to enjoy the best of the Philippines. The country is filled with beautiful tourist spots that anyone can enjoy, regardless of age and physical condition. A sightseeing tour is an easy and relaxed way to see the best of the Philippines and discover why it's a popular destination for many travelers. Walk or bike around the walled city of Intramuros in Manila and learn of its rich colonial heritage. Visit the old mansions of Bocalod with their storied past. For an experience closer to nature, try strawberry picking in La Trinidad Binguet or visit the awe-inspiring rolling hills of Badenes, which is a landscape unlike any other within the country. Number 1. Palatin Beach, Siquior Palatin Beach is rated as one of the best beaches in Siquior for its glistening white sands and palm tree-fringed shoreline. When you arrive in Siquior by ferry, you will find half a dozen scooter rental stores at the Lorena Ferry Terminal, which is super convenient. You can pick up a set of wheels for the time you plan to spend on Siquior Island. 
Aloha Seaside Resort is located in the main tourist area of Peloton Beach, San Juan. Featuring a swimming pool, room service, hot tub, restaurant, tour desk, and free Wi-Fi. There are deluxe family rooms and deluxe bungalows available, which are fitted with a flat-screen TV, free toiletries, seating area, large bed, private bathroom, sun terrace, and incredible ocean views. Well, that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any travel updates.